What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Now in a follow-up to a video we did at the end of last week, and I'll make sure to link it at the end of this, there was an initial report indicating that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 might start production and filming at the beginning of next year. And since then, in just the last five days, the director himself, James Gunn, has come out and debunked that report. And then following that, from a different and trusted industry insider on his Patreon, an indication of the original production start date, why that may still be in play, and how that lines up perfectly with the release date that's heavily rumored for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. We're going to break this whole thing down start to finish, the rumor date, the debunking by James Gunn, the brand new speculative date, and again, when you can expect to finally see Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in theaters, given everything we know about the Marvel Phase 5 slate. But first, if you could, grab the subscribe button. We're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including this insane XM Studios 1 4th scale Beta Ray Bill. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around at the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So this all starts last week with the circulation of what a lot of people believed to be an authentic film and TV industry production grid, indicating that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was set to start filming in production in the beginning of 2021. Now in that video covering this last week, I made sure to mention that that seemed a little abnormal for Marvel and Disney considering all of the release states through the end of 2022 are taken in part for the course for the companies to start filming on a movie about a year out. That's how they allocate their resources. I also made sure to mention though, for a director with the reverence of someone like James Gunn, he may want to take longer on the movie, so it's not completely outside the realm of possibility. Well, just days later, James Gunn came out and went ahead and actively debunked the beginning of 2021 as a start date on the movie. And it wasn't because that was too early for the rumored release dates, but specifically because he still has to finish Suicide Squad and he did this on his Instagram where he's been rather candid lately with fans if you happen to catch him during an AMA or just DM him occasionally he'll repost your question with an answer so that everybody can see it in this case and in the debunking of 2021 it was followed by trusted industry insider Charles Murphy on his Patreon indicating that actually the original production start date was 2022 and this was re-reported by the direct beta that's MCU Direct's brand new publication he goes on to say quote Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was absolutely set to begin filming January of 2022 and wrap in May of 2022, again lining up perfectly with what we reported as the 2023 release date, the beginning of Phase 5, including Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and again lining up with what I said, Marvel Studios starting and ending filming about a year before the movie's release. Now, Charlie goes on to make mention that depending on how things play out, obviously, as he says, quote, we're not out of the woods yet. And of course, given that things are subject to change, it could be the case that Ant-Man 3 and Guardians of the Galaxy 3 end up filming simultaneously. And he says one in Atlanta, one in London, which I believe the original Guardians of the Galaxy was filmed in London. I'll have to double check that as well. Either way, if those ended up going at the same time, Ant-Man would actually beat Guardians of the Galaxy 3 to the release date punch, leaving Guardians in that most highly coveted May slot for 2023, which indicated by industry insiders like Vicky DePledge this past week, 2023 would most likely include Ant-Man 3, Blade, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and Nova, which we've covered extensively in our most recent Phase 5 Slate 2023 release date video. I'll also make sure to link at the end of this. Now, either way, regardless of when it starts shooting, the rumor date has remained the same, a release in 2023, and that's great news for Guardians of the Galaxy 3 fans who have been waiting now so long for the return of this franchise, which was slated to have happened, and believe it or not, originally by the end of this year, before all that, of course, silliness and nonsense went down with the firing and rehiring of James Gunn, but thank God, even if it meant this huge delay, that they came to their senses and put James Gunn back in charge of the franchise that he so skillfully built, no one else would have been able to do it justice or finish it the way that he would have. And if this almost half decade or longer delay means that James Gunn got to stay in charge because of it, then for me, it was well worth the wait. And guys, let me know all your thoughts down below, including this specific last final thought for you with Guardians of the Galaxy 3, is it James Gunn or Bust? And how hyper you for not only the finishing of this trilogy, but the other brand new franchises that are rumored to come out alongside it that year in Blade and Nova. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. 
We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 650,000 subscriber mark. We're right around the corner from that, about 4,500 subscribers away. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. Make sure to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on and leave a like on this video. Now that'll automatically enter you to win all of the rest of the prizes that we're announcing here at the channel over the next couple of days and weeks going forward, including this insane X. M Studios 1 4 scale Beta Ray Bill statue. Now, if you're not into collectibles, if you don't keep up with companies like Sideshow and XM, these may be new to some of you, but they are absolutely immaculately detailed representations of some of your favorite Marvel characters. This one in particular, measuring at almost 30 inches tall. It's over two feet, again, 1 4 scale. And if you've never seen these things in person, they are absolutely awesome. I recently acquired this one from the Gem Mint Collectible Store, and he actually did a full in depth review of this statue. If you want to follow that i'll make sure to link it somewhere on this video or in the channel you can find him over at gem mint collectibles either way guys if you want to be entered to win this is the prize at 750,000 subscribers as we make our way up to a million and all the same rules will always apply for all of the prizes we announce hit the subscribe button and make sure to be a subscriber here at the channel then leave a comment down below on this video because it's truly random the more videos you comment on the better chance you have of winning the best way to do that is to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on to make sure you keep up to date with our content and drop a like on the video guys my name is michael roman this is everything always thanks so much for checking out the channel those of you who have been rocking with me for the last couple of years i cannot thank you enough for your support and if you're just finding the channel stick around we post everything marvel related everything from the most anonymous 4chan plot leaks that could be real and sometimes do come true all the way to the official stuff coming from marvel announcements trailer breakdowns and easter eggs thanks for checking out the channel and stick around we'll be posting again real real soon